We are Russell Curran, Teresa Mesa, Kendall Harrow, and we are from the Sir Iris Simon Secondary School. Our project is called For Arm Machine Nation. We are investigating how our form can be used as a simple machine made early. Problem statement. Can the bicep muscle attachment of the forearm be improved so that less effort is used? We are investigating how much strength would be needed if the bicep were attached here, here, and here. For example, the door is like a lip and the hinge is like a fulcrum. When you closer to the hinge or the fulcrum, more force is being needed to push or open the door. When you further away from the inch of the program, less force is being needed to push or open the door. First, you grab your 25 Newton spring balance and place it onto your clamp. Then, you attach your spring balance onto the second hook, which is on your forearm. Make sure your forearm is horizontal and your spring balance is vertical. Then, you record how much force was needed, which is on your spring balance. Then, repeat the same process with the two Newton attached. This is our original setup, the forearm, the spring balance, the two Newton weight. The screwdriver supported by the two clamps served as the fulcrum. This shows the spring balance held at an angle. It is connected by strings to a clamp. The result should have following pattern. As the distance from the muscle attachment from the elbow is increased, the force required to lift the weight is reduced. Actually, doubling the distance halves the lifting force. This shows that the design of the human arm elbow is not most efficient in terms of lifting objects. Therefore, the biceps, even though it is short muscle, has to be very strong. Great force has to be exerted to lift everyday objects. As the distance from the fulcrum increases, the lifting force reduces. Calculations were done to work out the expected lifting force based on the pin. Our results are very close to what expected in the field, but unexpectedly, the actual lifting force was less than the critical value. This means that our assumption was not totally correct. The spring balance at different angles, the same pattern was seen. The further away from the program, the less force is required. This comes back to our question. Can the bicep muscle attachment be improved? Yes, however, it will not be practical to have the bicep muscle attachment at the wrist. Less strength will be required, but the arm will have to be shaped like a triangle. The bicep will also have to be stretch way too much when the arm is stretching. Our hypothesis if the bicep tendons were attached further away from the elbow, less effort would be needed to lift objects. We found out that when the biceps are attached close to the elbow, more force is needed than when attached further away. We recommend that an investigation be done into whether shorter arms will lift objects with less effort. More sturdy apparatus could be built to investigate lifting with heavy use. Lifting equipment examples, robots should not be designed like the human arm. 